welcome to this min the ministry and this second game, this grud match of Iron Hands versus Death Guard. Dave's back. Um, we both got different lists. We agreed to keep the table set up exactly the same, so everyone knew what the cover was going to look like. We don't know the game mission yet, and we don't know where the objectives are and stuff. So we'll go over the 2,000 point Death Guard list. So leading the force today, Kasu Mazu has stayed back at the orders of Mortarian, and Typhus has come into the fray. So he'll be leading his Poxwalker Legion this time. So Typhus comes as he comes stock. Um, he's going to have Protection Vitality, Miasma of Pestilence. And I cannot remember the other one. Blades of Purification, I think I give him. Then we've got a Plague Caster as the second HQ in this battalion detachment. And he's got Miasma of Pestilence and Protection Vitality. Then there's three troop units. So we've got a big unit of 15 Pox Walkers, a squad of 11. And a Plague Marine squad there, which is rocking two plasma guns on the guy. He's a plasma gun on the sergeant, and he's also got a Plague Sword. And then the HQs for the 2nd Battalion, or a Lord of Contagion. And another Milligan Plague Caster, who's got my Asma of Pestilence, and I can't remember which one I said for the other one. We'll go over it through the game. It's either Putrescent Vitality or Gift of Contagion. I can't remember now. Um, then there's a squad of. 12 pox walkers and then two marine squads so we've got sergeant with a power fist in this one and they're all bolters and then we've got another squad of six man sergeant with a uh, plague sword and those two blight launchers are actually plasma guns and a plasma gun on the sarge we've got a chaos rhino with a couple of combi bolters on the top and we've got the return of the little crawler things which i think will probably get picked on early this game because dave hates them now um but they're two separate <coughs> units and then we've got the Fetted bloat drone with his spit as as well. And a bit more support today. We're gonna to take two of the plague mortar tanks armed as they are. So one's got the plague spit as and one's got the entropy cannons on the end there, and just the normal sort of heavy stub as on the front. That rocks in at two thousand points. Gives me nine command points. So he has a list you don't see every day for the iron hands. <laughs> Oh, I guess it's going to be a fun game, I think. <laughs> so, anyway, Dave's obviously got a spearhead, it looks like, and a vanguard detachment. Correct. So I'll let you go through <clears> the <throat> selections. So, Warlord, Captain Cataphracty with Iron Resolve Warlord Trace. Cataphracty Squad with a Redeemer. Uh, Terminator Combat Squad with a God Hammer. Terminator Librarian with... Fortress, Smite of Heroes and Smite. Yeah, yeah Apothecary. Power Armoured Apothecary. With the Teeth of Terror as well, he said. Teeth of Terror, relic. Right. Yeah. The uh, Assault Squad and... The Land Raider Crusader. Crusader, correct. And they've all got extra Storm Ball, as it looks like, on the top as well, yeah? Yes, they've all got Storm Ball. Yeah, wow, very small force. Iron Hands chapter tactics again today. Correct. Wow. Revenge. Revenge, Revenge of the Iron Hands. So obviously this battlefield has something very important on it. So we'll come up and see what game we're playing. Oh, sorry, Dave will have five command points there. Three for being battleforged, one for each of the formations. And today we'll be playing the scouring. So the battlefield's going to have a standard amount of objectives on, six. One of them's going to be worth more points than the other, but we're not going to know which one that is till we're all set up. So we'll get on to placing the objectives, then I'll give you a table overview. So tactics coming into play already from Dave. He's trying all his dirty tricks. <laughs> So we'll give you an overview of the table if you haven't seen the last battle report. So obviously there's a big ruined cathedral in the centre. So all this is area terrain. From this sort of point in this sort of T-shape is area terrain. And there's obviously multiple levels to get in. There's a lot of craters sort of dotted around. Coming out towards the Imperial statue there. And towards the front line of defence which is the bunker. Um, which starts us. So there's one objective down here. Obviously... We don't know until after that everyone's set up which one's going to be the primary objective worth four points and which one's the dud worth one. So we'll move around to this side and there's an objective sitting just in this crater down here. There's another objective just 12 inches away here, objective number five. And another one in a triangular formation here, four. So there's four objectives quite close and obviously Dave's tried to keep his really close because he's going to be picking the table quarter and 
as you've seen his list, you know, he's a very minimal amount of units. He has got, you know, you've got the option to run the three land raiders and drop the Terminator squads mm-hmm. in if you want. So he's got <clears> some mobility, but I think his plan is to keep everything together. There's nothing down here, it's sort of a no man's land. And no one Dave's trying to keep his together, I spread mine out. So one of mine went here, one in the middle, and one down there. So I'm hoping to force Dave to have to push to get to the other ones. Because um, three land raiders is going to be a tough cookie to crack, I think. What map is it? So we'll see which map it is, and we'll come back after everyone's set up and do the roll off. Yeah, we just rolled up, and the map type is the Dawn of War. So Dave's going to get to pick his table quarters. I'm not going to give him any hints or tips, but I reckon he's this side. <laughs> Because there's a fair few objectives there. Although saying that, I will have two of on my side. But there's going to be two or three very close to Dave. And I think obviously what he wants to do is just get things like this plonked right down here. And keep their guns ablazing. And let the Terminators do the smash. So the scene is set. Um, it's going to be very interesting the way things have turned out. So obviously the Death Guard have this side of the table. We've set up some Pox Walkers next to objective three. We've got the drone and the plague burst crawler over this side. It's got a plague marines and um, the little crawler. And then in this rhino, we've got two plague casters, the foul blade spawn and the squad of plague marines of plasmas. Got the bolt squad of plague marines here. Got the bigger unit of zombies along here. Typhus is set up just behind them. And we've got the entropy cannon plague crawler sitting down here. And we've got a squad of zombies scattered around this objective too. And the last of the crawlers sitting around here. So obviously he's going to grant the infantry the benefit of cover within seven. So the likes of Typhus and the zombies will be getting a cover save. And Dave, oof, obviously finished setting up first because everybody's in land raiders. So he had, literally had three <coughs> drops. So in this land raider, we've got the captain in the cataphracty armor. Yeah. And, squad. and the cataphracty squad in the redeemer. Uh, assault terminators. Yeah, the assault terminators in this one. There's uh, also a the missile on this one, which I forgot to mention earlier, and a missile on this guy. Uh, the Crusader. Yeah, on the Crusader. Uh, who's assault got the squad, squad apothecary terminator librarian. Yeah. And Dave's dropped one of his teleport homers for his terminator squads here. He's dropped another one here, not far from objective four. And the cataphracty doesn't get them. And yeah, cataphracty squads don't get them. More importantly, we're rolled up. And this objective right in Dave's lines has ended up being the the four. primary or whatever it's called, the four objective one, which is a bit of a pain in the arse for the Death Guard. The one in the middle is only worth one. So I was hoping that one would be worth more and potentially, well, in an ideal world for me, this one down the bottom corner would have been the best one because it looks like there's going to be one hell of a fight over this side of the table. So Dave, like we covered... Seems finished up, yeah, finished setting up well before I did. Boom. And that's Dave definitely going first, unless the Death Guard can seize the initiative. And I think Chaos love to steal things, don't they? So we'll try it. Oh, no. So it's going to go straight into A in hands, turn one. Just one final point to cover in my setup zone. The Lord of Contagion was held in the teleportarium, so he can drop in somewhere. But, um,. So Dave rolled a six, the Death Guard didn't steal, so we're going to go straight into Iron Hand's movement, turn one. So movement phase complete. The Cataphracty Squad got out of the Redeemer, which moved forward, didn't advance, just moved forward, it's ten inches. The Terminators have stayed in, this guy who's moved forward as well, and the Librarians got out of this one, and it's pushed forward as well, so it's still got a towing cover. And it's still going to be obscured from a lot of the Death Guard units this side. Scary three land raiders on a flank to try and get rid of. Definitely, definitely scary. So with that, Dave does have a psychic phase because he's psychers out. Um, so we'll come back with the psychic phase. So we're kicking off there with Psychic Fortress on the land raider. Because Dave's expecting it, I think, to take some damage. Gets it. Gets it on an 8. I'll tell you what I'll do. Typhus is close. And I know he's out of smite range, so I'm going to attempt to deny yeah. that. So Typhus will attempt his deny, and I'm looking for a nine. No, so Negative. Psychic Fortress is off. I'll put Might of Heroes on this land raider. Negative. Which doesn't go off. You've got command points if you want to spend no, them. No, no, no. no. So we'll go into Dave shooting phase then. So just for, we forgot there. We forgot to take the Terminator Captain off the top of the land raider when he's putting him down. So he's down there, so he'll be giving Dave... Um, 
some re-roll one shenanigans in the shooting phase. So with that, he's going to start Let's with. We well, start with the Cataphracti Cataphracti squad who've got that combi ball as. Two, four, six, six, going at the box walk as who will be T4 because the squad's within seven of Typhus and obviously the benefit of cover from the malefic blight. Ten shots. Smelly thing. So yeah. On threes. And he can reroll the ones. He, 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 what does he do? He, he's more... just, you've, you've hit with threes. You're not, yeah. you're not missing anything yet unless you've rolled in twos. So he's basically going to give them a six up save against these boys right. before they get that. Then you see if you wound on fours now, because Typhus has knocked that toughness up. So we've got four wounds. So we've got four, six up cover saves now first, or armor saves. So one saved, and then you've got three disgustings. No, nope, so we've lost three zombies. And I think going I'm on to... <laughs> I am bothered, every death counts in this game, but... Are you going on to the Land Raider yeah, now with its twin stuff? 12. Do the Stormwater first from the Land Raider. That's He's it. got two hits, wounds on fours. He's got two, two wounds. So we've got two six ups first and two disgustings. No, so we lost another two zombies. And then he's got his twin assault cannon. Twelve shots. Zero ones. Yes. There's a one more two in there. That's a good round of hits though. And these will wound on threes. Oh, is that all of them? No. There you go. Nine. Nine. Right, so it's nine wounds. There are nine guys left. The assault cannon goes through the armor. So these are just disgusting resilience. Ooh, so we've saved. Bad. Yeah, it isn't bad. We've saved five of them, so we've dropped another four, four zombies. Yeah. Next land radar is opening up. He's going to do his heavy bolter and storm bolter at these boys. And all the last cannons at this. So the last cannons are going in at the plague burst mortar yeah. tank there. Okay. Storm bolter. That's it. One. Got one wound. We've got one six up. And then a five up disgusting. Yeah. Up oh, made it and killed another zombie in the other squad. <laughs> uh, twin heavy baller. We roll the one. Get rid of them. And these are threes. Ooh, three so it's three wounds. Again, you're getting good sixes on your wounds if you'd had that um, storm of fire again. Aye. So they, oh, oh, that's three dead because the assault cannon, as that was, wasn't it? Goes straight through the uh, cover heavy save. Heavy ball, heavy baller. Well, heavy baller minus Still one as well, it. so we've lost three. Four last cannons coming in. Three. This guy. Three one. So you've got two hits. It'll be wound on threes. Oh. Just the one. You do have command points. Yeah, I'm going to re-roll that yeah. one. So we've got two, two wounds. So the plague burst crawler there has a demon save. Has a three up armor, which the last cannon knocked down to six. So we're better off on our demon saves of fives. Oh, they both negative. go negative. So I way there, I might use a card. Right. Oh, I'd go on. I hadn't used one, so it's fine. So you've got six wounds. Yeah, I can't re-roll one. So we've got six dice here. And these are disgustings. Oh, another three. She's so took three damage. Hunter killer's coming in as well. It's yeah. That is a wound. And then the hunter kill has minus two again, but it'll be demon save. No, I tell you what, I'm going to use a command point this time. You. Oh no! So it goes through. So it's d6. It's three damage. Is it d6? It is definitely d6. Oh, he's passed Good. all of them, and he's disgusting. Yeah, Dave's gonna. He's just nominated there. The Terminator librarian is going to be coming into the zombie squad with a storm bolter. He's going to roll in the Storm Bolt off here because he's firing his Storm Bolt, his Hurricane Bolt, as, and his Twin Assault Cannon all at this zombie squad looking yeah. to clear them as early as possible. The and the Hunter Killer Missile is coming to this tank. Two so, Storm Bolters. So, yeah, two Storm Bolters, not in rapid fire range. There's no reroll ones because the captain's out of range Correct. yet. So, these are wound on fours. Yeah. So, no wounds. Typical. Uh, okay, the big thing. Hunter Killer. Missed. It's a miss. That's gone. And now it's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 shots from the assault cannon. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes, 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 yes. Knees are one on threes. Yes, yes. There you go. Uh, five. Discussed new resilience, because again, the assault cannon given these the minus one. I'll negate the effect of the crawler. Five. Discussed new resilience. Coming up.
No, there's five zombies gone this time. And then he's got his oh, hurricane no. bolters next. So the hurricane bolters. A lot of hits, wound on fours. Only four. three, three. three. Oh, one's yeah. a three, yeah, three wounds. So these will get the six up. Save first. So no. And then five up disgustingly resilient. Two more zombies gone from this squad. So with that, that's the end of the Iron Hand's turn. There's no charges to do or anything like that. Dave's rocked his guns. He was hoping for first blood on one of these zombie squads, but luckily, obviously, Disgusting Resilience come in handy. I've managed to have two alive down here. And eight left in this squad, but severely damaged. So what we're going to do, we'll come back after the Death Guard has moved. So movement phase done. There's a bit of thing in there at the end of the movement phase. Um, so these zombies have stayed still. This guy stayed still. I was debating moving him round. The drone that was next to him has advanced. Got a good advance roll right up here. Put him just within nine of Dave's teleport homer down there. So we've took that out of commission. Um, these plague marines just moved up. Everybody that was in this rhino got out. And the rhinos zipped around here. And just popped smoke. This plague marine squad moved up just normally. Then the crawler moved up as well then everybody else who had got out so the two psychers and the foul blight spawn all advanced out of the rhino put them nicely within range of the land raider there and your big play this guy yeah for the big play this guy stood still these guys moved back a little bit just to get a bit out of range he moved up to put him within good melter range of that should point out that guy is he's within half melter range of that land raider if he targets that guy and these zombies moved up to support the rhino and a bit of blocking action. Um, you big player at the back. Best thing I can do, yeah. And Typhus shuffled up a little bit to stay within range of these guys, but obviously within some smitey range. Some stuff as well. And then at the back, we've decided to drop them in. Cool. Lord of Contagion, yeah. With these sneak attack rules drop right in, just more than nine inches away from this land radar. And what we've done... By doing that, he's knocked Dave's other teleport com um, home out of commission. He's put him right next to that objective, and I'm going to have some difficult decisions, I think, in the, you know, if that pops and there's guys in there, does this guy sit and hold and hide, make you come back, or does he attempt to silence the land <coughs> shooting for a turn? So we'll have a think about that and go into the psychic phase. So into the psychic phase, and we're going to start with Gift of Contagion on the land radar there. So... We'll roll up and see if we'll get this one. Um, so that's failed. So we'll attempt his second power of smite on the land raider. Looking for a five. Getting it with a six. Now Dave is within his range. Five. Which gets a five. He would. I don't yeah. think you're within 12. So you could fail. Are you command point or not? It's a D3 mortal wound. And you've got I'll your psychic off. fortress on yeah. still. I'll, I'll let you. Just going to let it go. Yeah. So that's two. Right, Mortal so wounds. What happens here? Uh, on a four, I think that denies. On the start, uh, automatic pass morales on a d6. On a four, it's ignored. So there's two. Two to save, so he's took one. Denied and he saved one, so he's took a mortal wound, yet. Yeah. So the next Saga is going to do smite first. Now, we're not doing the beta rolls again because they're not. We've been doing them on the tournament practice games because I think we're using them at the GT. Mm -hmm. But just for general games, I don't think anyone's been bothering. So. That oh, does go off on it. Get hand as well, huh? You'll no, not because it's a land raider. That's correct. Yes. You're just so used to having dreadnoughts on you. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've gone off on a ten. I th you can only attempt to deny one anyway. I think so. That's another D three yeah. mortal wounds. So it's three this time. So three. Forms. Psychic fortress saves. Save one. So he save one. So he's and took two. another two. And then with him, we're doing the putrescent vitality. So we're gonna increase this unit's. Yeah, the Plague Marines. So that goes off, which knocks the Plague Marines up to a toughness 6, which is quite nice. Next, we're going to move on to Typhus, who's going to Miasma of Pestilence. The... The Plague Drone. So he's going to try and give this a minus 1 hit on the Crawler. 
So that goes off as well. So that'll be minus one hit. And his second power, I'm going to attempt a smite. Now this one you can't see, so it's going to be this one as the closest visible unit. The smite goes off, and it's d3. Just the one more wound on that land radar, and he doesn't have the psychic fortress, so... Down 15. Got that yeah, Down 15. so... Straight into the Death Guard shooty phase then. Um, that was okay, an okay psychic phase. We're going to start with the Foul Blade Spawn, who's in 9 inches of the land radar. Um, because it's an assault gun, he can still <coughs> fire. So we're going to roll for the strength of the gun. Ooh, strength 11. That's why I hate these guys. And D6 auto hits. <gasps> Five. Oh, so roll them up. So, strength 11. If you wound the land raid on threes, and you can reroll ones because it's a plague weapon. Ouch. Yeah. Ouchie, ouchie. And these are minus three, but the land raider is obscured. And he is in cover. So these effectively are minus two, so there'll be four ups. Right, he's dropped two. You haven't He's used four. any. Yeah, because you're you would be normally a five up, but you're in yeah. cover How and obscured. Damage he's? he's a three damage a pop. I'll reroll one. Yeah. So he's took three damage. So that was good. Could have been better, but obviously Dave rolled really well on his saves. So this crawler is going to put its multi melter into the same land radar, and its missile launcher as well into the same land radar. So the multi melter will hit on a four. No. Nope. Um. I haven't used the command point yet, and I'm going to... Oh, no, missed. And the missile launcher, hit on a four, missed. Mm -hmm. So, already not as good as they were last game. You so, moved my command point, didn't I? I did, yeah. And I'll move over to the other crawler now. I keep calling them crawlers, but the track things. And he's going to put his shots into the land radar. I don't really want to, I want to kill some Terminators, but they've got the four up in one, so they'll probably save even if I do hit them. So we've got the multi-melter hitting on a four. So yep. he's hit. Wounding on a four. Mish. No wounds. Mish. And we've got the missile launcher, which is hit. And we'll wound on a four. Mish. No, nothing. So we forgot to do the flamer gun as well, which is obviously in range because he's in good multi-melter range. So it's got... Five more hits. Five hits, and we'll do it for this guy over here as well against that one. So D3 hits then, so we've got the three, and it's strength six, so I'm looking for fives to wound, but it is a plague weapon, I can reroll one, so it's got nothing. Mm -hmm. um, the other crawler there against that land radar, D3 auto hits. It's cold. It's cold. We'll roll it again. Yep. Two. So again, fives to wound, reroll on one. So oh, he's got two wounds this time. It's at minus one, but he's in the cover. So he's Drop one, one more wound, knocking that land down to nine wounds. Correct. So we're going to move down to the um, plague burst mortar crawler next. So he's going to put his entropy cannons into this land radar and the heavy stubber and the mortar. Sorry, the mortar into the marines because you can't see with the heavy stubber. The terminators down there and the heavy stubber just into the land radar as well. So we're starting with the mortar. We've got D six shots. One. One. And I've used my command point, fantastic. Hits on a four, yep. does hit. Wounds on a two against the Marines, does wound. It's a minus two save, but he's passed anyway. He'll be a two up or a four up. Yep. So I thought it was maybe he's worth because of the D3 damage it could take a cheeky Terminator on. So we've got the entropy cannons anyway. He's hit on fours. He's got one hit. He'll wound the land raid on a four because it's strength eight. Nice. Oh, nothing. It's not a plague weapon either, the entropy cannon. So I'm having a bit of a duff shooting phase. So we'll go with the heavy stubber. Got two hits. We've actually got a wound at minus one. He's Correct. not obscured from here, but he's passed his save. So these are all done. I think Typhus is out of range. For this? After, I've got this guy down yeah. here, and the Marine squad's going to have to measure up some range, see if these can start tickling in. So this squad here, we're going to play Veterans of the Long War. Um, we've got... Two plasma guns in rapid fire range of the land radar, and one that's not, plus the other bolters. So oh, it's dangerous because I've used my command point already. But anyway, we're going to veteran of the long war it, and we're going to overcharge the plasmas. So the first guy has got one hit, the next guy has got two hits, and the plasma who is not in rapid fire range yes. is dead, <laughs> which was this guy here. No, oh, yeah, this guy, so he'd be dead. 
Boo, boo, boo. But anyway, that's three. So these would normally be wounded on fours, but with Veterans of the Long War, it's threes. So that is three wounds at minus three. But he saved two of them. So he's dropped another two, dropping them down to seven wounds. And we'll do some bolter shots. So we've got five bolter shots in range because of the rapid fire being 18. So we've got three hits. These would normally be sixes. Veterans of the Long War were looking for fives. Nothing. We're going to move straight on to the next squad, which are just all rock and ball guns going yeah. into it as well. So this squad, looking for a good round of hits and not getting it. These will need sixes. So we do get one. So Dave's got a two up. Yep, so he saves that land radar. He's taking some punishment. Might as well use the guns though. Yeah, definitely. And then we'll come down to this guy. We'll just point out as well, there is a squad of plague marines, which I forgot to get out in here, who do rock plasma guns. But that rhino is at minus one to hit anyway. So yeah. if it dies, it dies. My fault. So this guy is going to put his stubber guns. He's free MLB out range. He's stubber guns. I'm going to go into this land radar up here. And the mortar, I'm going to measure up, because if it's in range, I'm going to try another cheeky shot at the, at the cataphracty marines. Yep, so he is in mortar range of the cataphracties. He's an inch in, so he's always got six shots this time. Makes up for the other one if I can hit something. So he didn't move, so he's hitting on fours. On a good roll here. Nice. Wounding on twos. Oh. Again, spent the command points early, so you've got two. Oh, he's failed both of them. Um, yeah. I don't think you've used the command. Oh, you did on the land radar. I've just got my iron hands on now. Well, it's D3 damage a time. Okay, yeah. So the first one is three and the second one is two. So we'll you start with the got two three. Much, start with the three. Yeah. So you've got three iron hand two, saves two on sixes. Let's roll three dice. So he's dead. And then the second guy, you need two dice. So he saved one. So kill the Terminator and once, on took one. a wound. Yeah. Then we'll shoot the heavy stubber. Well, he's got four on the hits with a heavy stubber. Looking for fives to wound the two. He's got two heavy wound, two wounds with a heavy stubber on the land raider, who is in cover and is obscured. So he'll be back to his two up armor. Yeah, so he's fine. <coughs> uh, Dave's baited me in. Um, <laughs> I was tempted to sit tight, but I'm going to attempt to charge the crusader with this guy. So he's nine inches away. I'm declaring a multi-charge as well against the Terminator Librarian, who is 12 inches away, um, who can't see for Overwatch, so Storm we might can. as well. So yeah, we're looking for sixes. So you got one hit, and that'll wound on a five. Nish. No wounds. There's 12 for the four, six. Let Dave pick up his multitude of dice to an assault cannon. One. Got one hit. Again, this guy's not in range of the captain, so it does wound because he's T5. So I'll be getting a two upstairs still because he's behind the barricade. Got it. Yeah. Goes through. <laughs> and basically, I forgot to mention, this guy's relic is the separating plate as well. So he's took a wound straight away. He's, dis he's, revol um, he's discussing he resilient, didn't work. His typhus is the warlord. So this guy's lost a wound. So now we've got... Hurricane Bolter 1. Hurricane Bolter. That's wow, three, three so there, far. Yeah. And I'll roll them again for the next hit. So there's three hits already. Three, four, four Is hits. It? Yeah, these will wound on fives. Whoops. There's one. Got one. So we're looking for two up. He's good. Now the important roll. The charge roll. Six, seven, four. eight. Right, I tell you what. Can we roll that one? I may as well have went through all the overwatch. He's not even in, not in. Boo hoo, boo woo woo. So yeah, that's the end of my turn. Guys down to five wounds. We're gonna move into Iron Hands turn. The Iron Hands are out now on mass um review of the movement phase. The Terminators have got out the first land radar, which was parked just behind this building, and have come through here. The second squad of terminators, which were in the land radar park there, have come out and moved up here. The librarian moved up as well. There's an apothecary just around there as well who got out. And the damaged land radar has backed off his five inches. This guy swung around on a 360 turn almost, parked this way. Obviously trying to look down here. And this guy's moved over this way to support the Terminators, but his flamers are still in range of the zombies. So it looks like it's going to be a big, big assaulty phase here for the Marines. Yeah, 
First of all, so we're psychic. Going into his psychic phase, yeah. Librarian against you. Nobber. Yeah. <laughs> against the Nobber. So Smite has gone off on a five. Yeah. Are you using any command points to make that higher? Or you no, no, I'll stick with that. So we're going to attempt to deny with one of the psychers down here. I'm going to use a command point. Yeah. So nice. it's denied, yeah. And I'll do Might of Heroes on that Terminator squad, that Terminator squad. On the sergeant in that squad. That's a model, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, let's have a think. Yeah, so he's going to Might of Heroes on the sergeant in that squad who's got a Thunder Hammer. Correct. Whoa. It's off on a 10. You know what? Might as well attempt to deny it. I've got a yeah. Psyker sitting there. Ooh, no. Yeah. So the sergeant in there. The Thunder Hammer is going to be on strength 10, which is big. It means you'll be winning on twos instead of threes if he makes it in. Yeah, uh, let's crack on. So we're straight into the shooting yeah. phase. Everything on your boy. So Draw which him. land raider? This one. Try and him in numbers, uh, actually. Yeah, try and draw him in numbers. Yeah, he's going to go everything against this guy. So what, I'll, I'll get them out so you're ready. So we're starting with the Storm Bowler. Storm Bowler. So he hits on fours now because he's damaged. So that's two hits. And that's one wound. Oh, we'll just point out as well, the Cataphractic Terminators and the Captain that right. were down here got in here. So obviously there's four Terminators left, one of them wounded. They jumped back in the land radar before it moved. So anyway, that's one wound there. So one save for two up. Oh, and a five up. Yep, saved. This guy's all horrific for his saving <laughs> so far. The Salt Cannons. And fours. So it's just them. Yep, five hits. These are wounded on threes. We've got three wounds this time. Um, again, against against the barricade, would knock them up to a three up. And sorry, the minus one would knock them to a three up, but behind the barricade, so he's on a two up with his infantry, so he saved the assault cannon hits. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So here comes. First part of the hurricane yeah, ballers. First wave of hurricane baller shots hitting on fours. Uh, got another one, two in there, yeah. Needs a wound on fives. Two. two wounds there, so then two ups. Yep, he's good against them. Yeah. The second lot. So he being damaged is helping us out a lot here. Yeah. Hmm. I spent a bit more than that. Like so two more wounds. He's good. Yeah. So okay. he's, he's eating every bit of lead that that tank's managed to throw at him. I'll go here. Uh, I'll do the heavy bolters at your boys. So the heavy bolters coming down into these guys and. Storm bolt with your boys. Yeah, the zombies. Last cannons at your big man. We'll, we'll measure up distance because it might be that he's not the closest, but we'll have a look. Basically, this guy was just out, well, just a bit further away than some of the guys over here. Uh, might not look at there, but the way the camera angle worked. And then once Dave realised that the closest one was actually the foul blade spawn, he's decided to put all his small arms into these zombie poxwalkers and the four laser cannons into him to get rid of him. One, one wound off us. You got. One wound after the four las cannon hits. So we normally have, would have a two up armor in the cover, minus three for the las cannon. We're looking at a five up. Go through. And um, where they are, my command point this. Decisions, Dean. I'm going to gonna command point it. Oh no, so it's d6 damage. Oh, I shouldn't have command pointed it. I'll are you command pointing that one? That yeah, because yeah. yeah, Dave didn't use his command points on any of the shots, he decided to save them. So we've got four disgustings. Oh, he hasn't made any of them. Get out. So that's a dead foul blade spawn. Get so we're going Stormball line to the Poxwalkers. Oh, one. one hit. Yeah, that is one wound because they're still within range of Typhus to buff them to T4. So they're in within seven of a crawler as well, so they'll get a six up. Nope, and they'll get a five up disgusting. Nope. Nope, so there's a zombie gone. Heavy boulders. Four hits, he's alone on threes. <laughs> Have you seen that? <laughs> so that's um, one zombie gone. So we'll get rid of this guy. Okay, this thing. I'd rather you roll that against the foul blade spawn. <laughs> uh, this thing will do storm bolter and flamers against them. Yeah. And the assault cannon against. Against. That's minus one to hit him. Minus one to hit him as well. Yeah. Uh, and the toughness six. Ah, yeah, they've yes. been boosted at T six, so it'll be fours to wound, be fives to wound, fours to wound, five to wound. We're gonna go against the, against the zombies, yeah. Yeah, okay. Storm bowler and threes. 
And fours. Three, two. So two. I nearly rolled a zombie there. A zombie. <laughs> We've got two six ups. So one saved already, and then we've got a disgusting. Nope, so we've lost another one. Assault cannon. So we're going to assault cannon assault now. Cannon. Saving the flames to last. Let's obviously make sure these guys die. That's alright. Yeah, these are wound on threes. That's a solid wound roll. So these negate the cover that the Melissa Bright Crawl has given them. So these will be straight to the disgusting. So I've lost one, two, three, four. Why does it negate the cover? Because it's minus one for your assault cannon. That's a save. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there's one, two, three, four more zombies gone. Which will leave me with two six flamers. So we've got two D6 flamers, my shit shots, shit, I know he said they should get rid of these guys. Four. four. And there's strength six. So the wound on threes, because again these guys are within range of typhus. They're a minus two save, so I get no save from the crawler. Just yeah. Is it four? Four, yeah. Yeah. So these are they're just one dam oh no, the two damage you pop, aren't they? Yeah. So the first one is dead. Second one is dead. There's only two left, so that's it. They're gone, that's the unit gone. Okay. So yeah. Stormwaller from the Librarian is going for the closest targets of both these guys. He's going to try and pick on the Saker. Three. You can see him through the window, so they all hit. He's looking for fives to wound because he's T5. We have sure. one. So in the cover there, he'll be on a two up. To save. Okay, I think that's me shooting. Just keep charging. Well, yeah, because the Apothecary can't see. So, we'll have Dave have a think about his charges and see what he's going to do. Yeah. Okay. So Dave's going to attempt a charge with the Apothecary, who can't yeah. be seen. He's going to come through and take both these units on. These two, yeah. See what happens. So you need a seven to tag one. Nah. No. Nope. So are you command pointing that or not? Yeah, I am. So you've got a four and a one. If you get, say, a ah. two, it's a fail. Now watch. So the librarian now is going to attempt it, but he's not multi-charging. He's just going to take on the Saiga. So it's a uh, eight inches. <sighs> he's not in. We'll do a watch off camera because I'll have obviously a pistol. Yeah. Pistol shot, which isn't going to kill him. Decisions, decisions with the Terminator squads no, now. No. Do you want to have a think about it? No, no, no. Uh, these boys will charge just the librarian. Just the librarian, yeah. Oh, it is, yeah. Right. That'll get them there. We'll move them in first, then you'll decide you're the other guy. So this Terminator Assault Squad is going to come in against the Plague Marines. No, just him. Is that he's the Plague Marine, yeah, yeah, he's part of the Plague Marine Squad. So they'll need a 6-inch to get in. My oh, God, it's a fail. Rolling, I, tell you. I needed that, so I'm going to get some Overwatch against them, but right this there. is just the Bolter Squad. So no damage on Overwatch there, and now Dave's going to activate this unit and start piling in. So he's going to move around here, yeah, tag him. And your librarian. So they're all piled in there. Obviously they can't target the blade crawler and it couldn't overwatch them, but he's managed to make contact with it anyway. And he's made the heroes on the Thunderhammer captain. Yep. So now. all these attacks are going into the Saker. So the captain's hit once. Because it's minus yes. one with the Thunderhammer. Sorry, the sergeant. He's not a captain. You'd be wounded on a two though. Oh, you have, you've you got one. a command point left. Yeah, I'll re-roll it. So go. he does get a wound. So we've got a save against the Thunderhammer. Hammer. Got no in runs, that's not a save. And it's a flat three damage. So he's got his disgustings. So he's managed to save one, so he's took two damage, which will leave him on two wounds. Yeah. And then we've got a two, two Thunder Hammers, yeah. Again, hitting on fours because of the minus one. And does the Might of Heroes give him one more attack as well? I think it does. So yeah, and well. this is the extra attack for the Mighty Heroes he forgot about, which missed anyway. Yeah. So we've got two more hits. Or well, three more hits, yeah. sorry, for the other guys. And these are wound on three, so they all wound. Got three saves against these Thunder Hammers. Nope. And these are three damage a pop. This could be a, a dead, dead, dead Saker. Three. So he's took two wounds, which he's dead anyway before I even start okay. making the rest. So he is dead. So Dave just pointed out Dave's going to now consolidate and he's got to move so he's closer to the closest yet. enemy he's model. Go three to there, so then can't he? So we'll attack back with the. Um, Dave's consolidated and just to point out, didn't want to bring any other units into combat. So we've got three attacks with the crawler, which has missed them all. And I'm not going to use any command points there. So with that, that's the end of Dave's turn. And we're going to Death Guard, turn two. So Death Guard movement phase is over. These guys are shuffled around again a little bit further away. He stayed still. The plague means that we're in the Rhino have got out. Typhus has moved up. The Rhino's moved round. A little crawler's come round the corner. 
we're going for it here, big style. So this is either going to work really well or it's going to be a disaster. Big fight, it? Yeah, so the Plague Marines have moved around. I'm staying in combat with this guy. The site has moved around closer to Objective 1 next to these guys, and these guys have moved up. This Plague Mortar has stayed still. These guys have also stayed still. So this drone got a big advance from down here. So he's flying up so he can put some flame shots down here. And this guy's hopped over the barricade. I'm potentially thinking about using Nurgle's Rot in the shooting phase because he's now within seven of the both these land raiders and the apothecary. It's a big gamble, but to be honest, I think this turn the Death Guard have got to try. The land raiders on their wounds are hard nuts to crack on there. Mm -hmm. I've got to mm -hmm. I've got to get rid of the Terminator problem and start stripping wounds off these land raiders. So we'll go into the psychic phase. So we're going to start the psychic phase. We're going to cast Miasma of Pestilence on the Crawler to hopefully try and tie up that Terminator squad. That goes off on a six. Dave can attempt to deny if he wants. Get oh, he does deny. That would have been big because that would have made him a minus two to hit in combat. Um, so anyway, the next power, the cast over there, is going to be Smite. Yep. Oh, it's the biggie. the biggie. It's the 11. I can't swap that one out, can I? No, you've used it. So it's D6 mortal wounds on the Terminator squad. <sighs> Nothing I'm doing Five, so five. There's going to be two and a half Terminators dead. That is a good, good start. Aye. Actually, wait there. It's three Terminators dead because he's a malignant pay caster and he cast it on more than a seven. So the nearest enemy unit takes an additional mortal wound. Which is three dead. So it's three dead Terminators. Yeah. So you forgot Dave's Iron Hands, he's going to roll them saves. So one Terminator is still on a wound, yeah, so, so probably one of those Thunder Hammer guys will be put back. I'm still more than happy with that. That was a pretty good result. So Typhus is going to cast Putrescent Vitality. On himself. On, sorry, on this Plague Marine unit. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to do Smite first as well. Oh, So that goes <laughs> off. So they're going to be Toughness 6. Isn't yeah. going to make much difference against a Thunder Hammer, but next power, it's mighty bollocks. So it does go off, just, they've got no denies left, just the one mortal wound on the Terminator squad, yeah. and he's took a wound. Could have oh, went yeah. better, you know what it is, I was going to do smite first, I thought nah. So he's putting the wound on a lightning claw guy, so with that we're going to go into the shooting phase. Right, we're going to start with Typhus, and he's going to unleash the Hive, which is... Basically a pistol weapon. 2d6. He's got eight, and he's always hit on fives and sixes, regardless of any modifiers, which is good in an overwatch, but it's poo here because he would normally hit better. Let's see. Two. So he has strength four, forced to wound. Oh, two wounds, but these are minus three, so he's on his end ones. One. So he's failed one, so there is a wounded terminator. Yeah. So there's a dead terminator. And the malignant pay cast over here is gonna shoot his bolt pistol at the terminator squad there. So he does hit, he doesn't wound. He's just trying to strip them down basically. There's a Plague Marine squad here, all in rapid fire range of this Terminator squad here. So I'm going to start with this squad rapid firing. We're not overcharging the plasma guns. Wouldn't have made any difference. Really. Two hits, got one wound. So you're going to have an in one save on a Terminator. Terminator. Which one were you in? It's the. These ones. Yeah, them ones there. Minus. Minus three from the plasma, so you're going on a storm shield. And that's saved. A good move, yeah. We're saved anyway on the end one. And these are the bolter shots. They all hit. One. Just one wound. Normal armor? Yeah, normal armor. Yeah, they've saved. I'm looking at my command points. What I'm going to do is I'm going to veterans of the long war these guys, which is the second plasma squad. Add one to hit. They add one to the wound roll. Add one to the wound roll. And right. they're also going to shoot this Terminator squad. So we'll roll the plasma guns, not overcharging. This is going to knock me down to four command points, doing veterans. So they've all hit. So these would now be wound on twos, because it would be threes normally. So it's a full house of wounds, so that's five wounds five. at minus three. Do I get add one for the creator? You will, because you're in cover. So, so it'll be minus two. two, so you'll be on four, four ups if you're using your lightning claws, or three ups with the storm shields. Ooh. Um... And then it was six, wasn't it? Six wounds. Six is it? I think so. What did I say? Five or six? You said five. Five, it's five then, whatever I said. Uh, I can do them on a storm shield and one at a time, can I? Or? Yeah, you do them one at a time, yeah, it's up here. Do one at a time and storm shield. So that's <laughs> first wound on the storm shield. Uh, right. 
There's out of command points anyway, so he's got nothing he can re well, yet. I've got to keep going on the Storm Shield yeah. now, haven't I? Yeah, because he's wounded. So the Storm yeah, Shield's dead. That's a good start. It's three Iron more hands. wounds. Don't do, don't do oh, sorry, do we two Iron Hands now then, yeah. So he's so saved once. He's one. still got a Storm Shield. So it's three more saves. Yeah. There there so that's he's dropped and he's Iron Hands. <laughs> and then the last one on the Storm Shield. There you go. There you go. So the Storm Shield guy's down to one wound. And we'll do some bolter shots. Again, good wrong to hit, just missed with one, just get rid of that one. And he's normally wound on fours, threes with the veterans. Oh, just two wounds. But you've got to take them on the Storm Shield yeah. guy now. So, and oh. he's got his iron hands. So he's dead, and then another one on whoever you want who's passed. Yeah. So that's so got rid of a gun and ammo, which is quite good. Level of guns. It's tempted with a grenade, but I can't be bothered. So, it's going to rapid fire on threes. And on fours to wound. So there's four. Now you can start where you want to with your saves because you're on a two up. These What's are just four, four guns. Four guns. Yeah, so four two points. ups. Right, uh, I'll put my lightning claws. Yeah. So he's on a one. Yeah, so you go on the lightning claw guy again. Saved. And he saved. So the lightning claw guy lost the wound as well. So the rhino is going to put combi bolters in. Whoop. Double combi bolters, nice. So there's three more wounds. Go we'll through on the Terminator unit yet. Two ups again. Past, past, and past. Oh, as if you're going to do it in style. Right, so the little crawler thing is going to put its flame as against the Terminator unit. Yeah. It's going to put its. Not going to do It's going to put its multi melter. Got me this one, is it? Whether I use it at the Terminator or the I see. Land Raider, I'm going to use the Multi Melter against the Terminators again. Yeah, I really don't want to. No, we're going to use the yeah, multi actually, we're going all against Terminators, everything against Terminators. Yeah, so it's the Flamer, so that's th th three, it was D3. Yeah, yeah. So there's wound on threes, oh, oh. but it is a plague weapon. Oh. So there's three wounds from zero to hero. Yeah. And he's on minus one, but he's in the cover, so he's still on two ups. Right. He's gone. Oh, he's, yeah, he's gone, because that was his iron hands. That's two, yeah. Two more. Oh, so there's another fail. One, one, just one. Well, he failed them both. So one's gone, and I imagine you're putting them on this guy anyway, so yeah. he's took a wound. Oh, he's dead, isn't he? No, because you... All right. Okay, well, I'll just... Yeah, so that's not fair. I think he's alive on a wound. Because I only did three damage, didn't I? Yeah. Did you pass a save? You passed one save. Yeah, you passed one okay. and failed two. So I couldn't, I didn't cause enough to cause three wounds. Definitely not. So the multi melter has hit. Yeah. I'm looking at my command points. No, okay. I'm not going to use it. The missile launcher hits. And wounds, so he's got a minus two on that one, but he's saved. Because I just thought you'd save it anyway with a multi melon you when I had a feeling it'd be <laughs> wasted. So that's the sort of shooting round there done. This guy is going to entropy cannon the middle land raider, who's already sure. wounded, yeah, yeah, and he's going to mortar it as well. This from here, yeah. Yeah, and he's going to heavy stubber the Terminator squad. Mm -hmm. Start with a heavy stubber, so these are fours because he hasn't moved. Threes because it's strength five. Two saves at minus one, so you're in cover, so you're back up to twos. Two saves at minus one. So he's good. So we've got D6 shots on the mortar. One. Fantastic. It's on a four. Nope. Nope. And we've got the two entropy cannons. Oh, they both hit. Mm -hmm. For fours. Four. One hit, but it's minus four to the save on an entropy cannon, so he's looking at six from the land raider. Am I 50% up, skewers? Not from there, I don't think. Nope. Yeah, it goes through, yeah. it goes through. That would have went, even if he was obscured. I'm going to use a command point on that. So four. So it knocks him down to nine wounds. Yeah, sorry, knocks him down to 11 wounds. My bad math there. Going to move over to this plague crawler, who's going to do the heavy stubber. You know what, I'm just going to go the same. I'm going to go heavy stubber into the um, Terminators yeah. and the plague burst mortar. So we'll start with the stubber. Got a hit. He's got a wound, two up save. Good. Yep, save D6 with a mortar. Three, it's on fours. 
Got one hit, wounds on a four because it's strength eight. It is a wound, it's minus two for the land raider. Did you say wound on fours? Yeah, because strength eight, toughness eight for the land raider. Got three to two there, didn't you? Six for the wound. Did you? Okay. Yeah. So it's one dice. It's mm -hmm. failed to save and it's D3 damage. Three. So that, three. Yeah, so that will knock the land raider down to eight. That's good math. So we'll come around this side, the drone's going to put both its flamers into this back wounded land raider crusader. So it's 2d6 auto hits, it's 9, good. He's still full on his profile, so I'm looking, strength 6, I'm looking for 5s. That's not bad, 2. 2 wounds on the land raider, minus 1. Yeah, he's safe with good. both. So we're just discussing there whether I tried Nurgle's rock, maybe it's with this guy, and I just think... At this stage, it's not necessarily worth it. If they were few, down to a few more wounds or it was a bit more reliable, I'd definitely do it. But I'm going to keep my three command points because we're moving in to the charge phase. Yep. And I think I need to get stuff in here good and fast. So this Rhino is going to multi-charge the Terminators and the two Land Raiders. Both Land Raiders, okay. All of them. He's trying to soak it all up. Yeah. yeah, so hopefully he'll soak up all the Overwatch. So we'll roll his, roll his distance, see how far I can go. Yeah, so Nine, which will give him enough, so we'll let Dave do his overwatch off camera. Yeah. And see what's nice. well, we'll see what's left of the Rhino. So the Rhino is no more. Is no more. It took a bit too much damage on Overwatch. I even used a command point to try and get an extra save on there, and it was the land raider with the Laz Cannon hit in the end that finished it off. Brave, brave Rhino. Um it didn't blow up though, which was handy there. I wouldn't have minded if it blew up there, but just there was bad. So next, we're gonna go into Typhus and he's gonna charge. Just the Terminator Just the squad. Terminator, yeah, so there's no Overwatch. Oh. So yeah. Typhus is in with a 9. <clears throat> the Plague Marine squad, this one, which is the Power Fist guy. Do you want to put oh, him in? Gonna, yeah, I'll put him in. But I'm going to multi charge these into both Terminator squads. Okay, kind of Overwatch. Yeah. 8, so they're in as well. Lord of Contagion once again is going to attempt to charge down here. I'm going to try and get a cheeky charge. I'll show you why. Because if I can get to here. I'm obviously probably tag both of them. Down here, this guy can potentially come in and tag the land raider. I can't really make it out there, but the three inches at the start of the piling will put us closer to him and get him. And I'm just out of range of this guy to perform a heroic intervention. Obviously, Typhus has made it in. And in the charge of the phase, he can move in to silence this land raider. So if I get lucky, there's a potential I can really negate Dave shooting here on the next turn. I've opted not to charge in with the Psyker and this other marine squad down here. In this second, because if it all goes bad, <laughs> at least I've got some gun. So we'll let Dave overwatch with the Crusader and see. Well, I'll tell you what, see what the distance is. So I've got eight inches and we'll do Dave's overwatch. So Lord of Contagion took a wound going in. Um, he's done his, we've basically done the activation moves just to do so. He's going to basically tag both the land raiders and we'll show you the other bits as well. So Typhus is now within an inch of both units, the land raider and the Terminators and these guys have done their sort of piling. Dave's got no command points, so we'll just agree do it all now and then it's easy and mm -hmm. you're not having to mess around later on. So these have all piled in, and obviously, this guy's managed to get in contact with the land radar as well. So I will be silencing unless those Terminators do some epic work on those Marines. I'll be silent. Well, either way, yeah, because that you're gonna have to get some good rolls to get these land radars back shooting next turn. And I forgot Typhus and maybe get this guy, so the Rhino maybe's died needlessly, but. Hey, you live and learn. Mm -hmm. So Typhus being the Warlord has the Living Plague. So at the start of the fight phase, or any fight phase I should say, any models within three inches suffer a mortal wound on a four up. Now obviously if we're then going to Dave's turn, it, well sorry, my next turn at the start of the movement phase, units can, if they're within range of a load of contagion, can also do mortal wounds at the start of the movement phase. So it's a big incentive for me to keep everything locked up here. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with the Terminator squad on a four up. Nope, and the land raider. Yep. Yep, so the land raider's got a mortal wound. Fifteen. Which is an out, but it helps. But there is, obviously, there's terminators in here as well for a counter charge, so it's going to get sloppy. Kick things off now with Typhus. So he's got four attacks, and he hits on twos. Which one's hidden? He's hitting the terminator squad, because I didn't okay, charge the land raider. Yeah. Um, I've missed twice. Mm -hmm. Okay, what I'm going to use no... Yeah, I'm going to use a command point. Oh, Jesus Christ. So he wounds on threes. Both wounds. Two wounds. Yeah. yeah, so that's two wounds at minus three and three damage. He has to be the lightning claw who's wounded. So he's... He's Dead. got... And then on the storm shield. 
So he's saved. So, he's so that's dead. that guy dead. And that's him out of combat, isn't it? And we'll pile in three inches with Typhus at the end of his phase, which is about there. Just get him on a bit of cover. Next we'll activate the Plague Marine squad. So everybody down here is going into the Terminator, except the guy with the Power Fist who tries to look against the Land Raider. Actually, no, you know, I'm going all against the Terminator because the Land Raider can't shoot next turn anyway. And I don't think I'll do enough to cause 8 damage on it. So, we've got... Are you? Cheating? No. We've got 4 guys. 4 guys normal. Uh, Death at the Falls Emperor. We'll give them an extra attack. So we've got 4 hits. These are wound on 4s. These are just normal, well, plague weapons. Plague knives, let them reroll 1s, but there isn't any. So you've got 2, 2 ups. Okay. With your guy. Two, two ups. Yeah, no negatives on these. So he's good. And then the champion has got a power fist. So he's actually managed to get two hits because it's minus one hit. He wound on twos. Oh, oh I have used it and they're not a plague weapon. Oh, this is going bad for the plague marines. So they will go. I don't think. Oh, yeah, sorry. The Lord of Contagion's around there as well. He charged. We'll go with him next. Lord of Contagion next against the Land Raider Crusader. It's got four attacks. Ooh, a couple of sixes there. That's another couple of attacks. Death to the False Emperor. So that's five hits. On what? On the Land Raider Crusader. Because that was his target of his charge. That one wasn't. So he'd be, um, he's strength seven. Five to wound. Just one. Just one. But it is minus three. And it's three damage. So no. Nope. So the Land Raider no, goes down three. three wounds. And then because it's my turn next. I'm going to activate... The crawler down there to attack the terminators. Mm -hmm. So the blade crawler hits on fours. Well, he's got two hits this time. I think that's two wounds. I think he's strength six. What's this on? What are we doing? So two wounds on the terminator squad. I think they're all thunder hammers anyway. One of them's wounded. So it's a minus two save, but he's on an in run with two lots. So yeah. he's good. And no, one's failed, but he's got an iron hand save. He's good. He's good. Oh, he's good. He keep. Failing and getting that iron hands. He's good. He's good. Right, so... All mine hit back now. Yeah, Dave can nominate. He's obviously got... Doesn't matter, that you, you, All my stuff's gone, so he's yeah. got a Terminator down here and, and all his Land Raiders can attack. Both Land Raiders, then. Both Land Raiders against Typhus. Um, ah, I see. Uh, I'll do them two against this guy. Yeah, the two wounded ones. Uh, and I'm a Land Raider. Four and one. So D6, D6 for the middle land raider and one attack for the massively wounded one. So he's got five attacks in total going against the Lord of Contagion. On sixes. Hitting on sixes. I hope you get a few. Nah. Damn. Because he's separating play and throw more wounds back. back. Yeah. Right, so you've got this one. This one is going against Typhus, obviously. How many wounds? How many attacks? I think you'll be on your full. I think it's six. Does have six, yeah. Three, four, five, six. So I'm hoping you get none of these. One. Yeah. That's eight. So he does get a wound. Yep. There's no negatives, I don't think, on the Land Raiders' yeah. attacks. So Typhus is saved. So Thunderhammer Stan there's got three attacks. Hitting on fours. He's two. got two hits. He'd be wounding on threes. So one. Because they're toughness six. So it's minus three is a six up. No, and it's three damage. So Sorry. he's lost. He splattered a Plague Marine off the... Yep. Yeah. yeah. Over here, Sergeant has got four attacks. Has he still got that? He still have made a few rows, yeah. Four attacks for him. No fours. He's got so one hit. One. He's got one wound, and you can make sure all the other guys as well. Two attacks each. So two more hits. Two more wounds, so that's three. So we've got three demon saves. So he's passed one. Two go through. Two go through, so there's potential of six wounds. So he's took two wounds so far. So he's disgustingly resilience. So he's took five wounds, so that's he's still alive, he's got three wounds left. Yeah, so just point out this guy would be an additional minus one to hit, but Dave rolled five and six, it makes no difference. Yeah. Um because he's got his smelly aura, which is in combat. But um yeah, that's the end of the Death God turn. Dave Willow is a morale check on this Terminator squad, because this one can't fail, so he's lost four guys, just one dice. Oh. It's a six, which is a fail, but he can re-roll it through and they shall know no fear. Which is a four, and losing five guys is nine. So he's passed just on the nine there, the sergeant left alive. 
Um, I don't think there's any morale checks to take on the death guard. No, just lost one there. Yeah, so that is it. So we'll go into Iron Hands, turn three. Let's finish his movement phase. So the Land Raiders have all backed out of combat and this one's closing in on the uh, mortar tank down here to try and negate its mortar shooting at it. The Terminator's got out before it moved and obviously it looks like a bit of Warlord on Warlord action going to happen. The Cataphractes are there. This guy just crab moved to the side to get you staying with that one. This guy backed off his mighty three inches, <laughs> blocking off a route though to that expensive objective. It's worth four points there. Um, obviously none of these can fire this turn. So Dave literally has a Storm Bolter and some Combi Bolters this turn for shooting. End of the movement. Yeah, there's an Apothecary Jisu here, which is within the range of this squad to a bring up. a guy back on a four up. There he is. Which he does. So we've got a Terminator back with a wound. There yeah, so stuff keeps falling over. So basically, the Thunderhammer's come back with a wound on the librarian who really is like here, but he just keeps falling over. So Dave's, yeah, yeah, Dave's fitted his guy in anyway. So with that, Psych. we're going to move on to his psychic phase. So Dave's going to create He Man in the middle of the table here. So he's going to attempt, what is it, first Mike of Heroes? Yeah, do Mike of Heroes on the captain. On the captain. Six, yep. So I'm going to attempt to deny. I've still got two psychers within range. So right, Mike of Heroes denied. is denied. And then Psychic Fortress on him and as well. You've got a Psychic Fortress on him as well. Six, yep. Which goes off on a six, so the other Psycho who's in range. Equals. Have you done it, haven't you? No, I need to beat, beat you. Right. I've got to beat you. I'm just looking. I've got two command points left. Um, That's going to give him four up in one, isn't it? He's going to be the closest unit to my yeah. Psycho. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Yeah. Yes, so it's denied. So no Psychic powers this turn. So He's a Death Guard on one command point. One command point. So Dave's got 16 combi bolters coming in against this Plague Marine squad. The re roll ones for the Captain. Yeah, Captain Fantastics within six. Hitting on threes. It's a good solid amount of hits. They top as five. They are T5, so it'll be fives to wound. Uh, we'll just get a six, six, five, five. There's another six near your land reader. Right so you got 23, six. Six. So the Death Guard got saves of three up. Obviously, some of them are behind the barricade, so the, you know we we'll both agree that one of the shots won't get the additional plus one to the cover save. So the one that didn't save, no. Right. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're all good because the other ones are behind yeah. cover. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So you've got your Librarian Stormbolt left. So you go and same uh, unit. The Apothecary. Oh yeah, sorry. You've got the Apothecary. Coming in. He's hit. Yes. He is wounded. Um, That'll be straight past. Them. Yeah, so they'll not get the nope, save okay. yet. So he's saved. I've got a storm boulder off the storm uh, boulder on the librarian. But the well, my typhus, the warlord's the closest model. If you want to take some pot shots at typhus, yeah, go on. Four, threes, so three hits. Wounds on fives. Nothing. No wounds. So that is probably the quickest movement shooting phase I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go straight into the assault phase now. Obviously. Sorry, the charge phase. Yeah. So I'll let you declare your charges. Uh, these boys will multi charge them and them. Excellent, yeah. Warlord will charge War Warlord. And he will charge them. Yeah, is the apothecary going in as well? The He's apothecary got will charge them and they're going to stay with him. Right, so I tell you, roll your apothecary because he cannot really fail. Yeah. He's only like three inches away. He gets 12. Wow, he's in. The Psyker, yeah. there's no point rolling. You can go where you want. But the 12 inches on him means he could come right round the back. That's what I'm going to do. So yep. in range of both units to try and heal him up a bit. Excellent. Good work. Good work, Apothecary. Uh, librarian. He's deaf. Don't even roll. Because obviously you cannot really fit round here anyway Zero. and he's charging. Six inches. There's not really any space for him to go anywhere mm, other than... No, you see, because he could get him. So I do want to put him round here. So he's basically he's going to run round the building a little bit and through. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's space. Dave cheats uh, a lot. <laughs> Warlord for yeah. He's in. Just depends which side you want to stand him at, I suppose. Boom. And you'll get Overwatch here. Yeah, so we'll do some Overwatch off camera. So yeah, these guys made it in. Um, lost the Terminator on the way in because I decided to overcharge the plasmas. Got two hits and a, one of the guys rolled a one. Decided to use my last command point to re-roll it and I got another one. So, mm -hmm. the you know, he melted himself on the way in. But we <laughs> took the Terminator down, which can help. So at the start now of the five phase, Typhus's Warlord trait means any units within three inches of him on a four up take a mortal wound. So the captain on a four up, 
Yep, yep. and the land raider, no. Nope. So the captain will get his iron hand save. And then his warlord. And his additional yeah. warlord, which Three was the one. thingy. So yeah, so he'll be down to six, six. wounds. Because his warlord trait gives him the extra one as well. So Dave can decide who he wants to go first. He can't interrupt, can he? I've got no command points left for any interrupt. Well, the captain first. And I think he has four. So captain coming in. Four base attacks, plus one because he's rocking two lightning claws. He's hitting on twos. He's re-rolling ones. So he's got four hits. And these will be wounding on... He's only strength four because the psychic power fails. So he'll be That's wounding right. on fives, but he can re-roll with the lightning claws. Three. Wow, three wounds. And then minus two. So Typhus will go up to a four-up, which is in one as a four-up. So he's got three four-ups. So he's passed, failed two. Yeah. And they one damage a pop on it, so he's took one wound with his disgusting new resiliency of. Go down with this charging unit. So there's the three guys. Um, I don't know if the sergeant's in yeah, there. I'm he should he be. Uh, yeah, he's a chain fist. Yeah. So the sergeant's got a chain fist, and then two it looks like fists. two power fists. So. Yeah. Sergeant's got three attacks. Yeah. So he'd be hitting on fours. So he's got one hit. It can they are within six of the captain, but obviously that didn't matter. And the twos have failed eight. a wound because right. the T five. Shit. Got four power fists now. Yeah. On fours. Correct. Ooh. Two two hits and again threes. Oh, Just the one. This is minus three, so it's a save of a six. Nope, and it's D3 damage. D3? Yeah. Three. Three. It's dead plague marine coming up, I think, yeah. Oh, just yeah. a dead plague marine. We'll take the bolter guy off. Okay. Uh, got me thunder hammers here. Three with the sergeant. Two well, actually, the boy. it's your. Two right, characters yeah, yeah, first because yeah. the charge, so yeah, the Teeth of Terror has D3 bonus attacks instead of one. Yeah. So the Apothecary next, he's rolled a bonus three attacks with the Teeth of Terror, so you'd be on six attacks, you'd be hitting on threes. So he's only missed a couple of times. He'd be wounding, that squad is still toughness six, so he'd be wounding on fives. Nothing. So he's got no wounds. Librarian. And the Librarian's next. Four attacks? Um, I th yeah, I think so. Yeah, three attacks, three attacks of the librarian. Sword. All hit. All hit. He'd be wounding again on fives because he's got a four sword. Four swords. Just and against toughness six, four swords just flat. It's like flat, a power yeah. sword. So okay. no wounds. Wow. But it's not over there because, well, it's up to Dave. He's got a chance to nominate a unit now. Yeah, I'll go, it doesn't matter. You can't interrupt, so I'll go them first. So yep. you've got three from the sergeant, two from the boy. They're in range of the air. Uh, so hitting on fours. Hitting on fours, you're rolling ones. Three hits. And these will be wounded on threes. Three wounds. Three wounds. So I'll have three six ups. This could be three flattened plague marines. It's looking like three flattened plague marines. Yeah, three each. Yeah. First guy, One. dead. Yeah. <laughs> Second guy, dead. Third guy, dead. So we've lost three plague marines from that squad. <clears throat> so my turn to nominate unit. Obviously, I'm going to go down here before it gets smacked again. So he's got three attacks. Hitting on fours, two hits, one on threes, two wounds, two saves. It's got to be on the guy. Pass ball for them anyway with a storm shield. Hits back, three from the sergeant, two from each of the hammers. Yeah, so these guys normally hit on threes. Minus one for the thunder hammer, minus fours. one for the crawlers special rule. So he's looking for fives. Just the two then. Yeah. Looking for threes. He's Just got one. one. Really hoping for a five up. Yeah. No. Three damage. Gone. Oh, he's gone. Right. Does he, does he blow up on a four up? Yes. He does. So everyone within. Interesting. <laughs> so when he goes. He takes everything with him. Well, he might do. Everything within seven inches takes a mortal wound. So I don't need to roll any dice, but Dave's got an iron hand save on the wounded Thunderhammer guy. It's good. Oh, you bugger. I'll do all mine. Uh, this squad. Yeah. Nope, so one of those have wounded. The Apothecary. Yeah, put it on. We'll put some dice on there, yeah. So Apothecary. Apothecary. Has taken a wound. He'd be down to three wounds. And the Librarian. Has taken a wound. And the Terminator there. Wilson the Hammer is dead, because he was wounded, isn't he? It's him gone. And the Warlord's just out of range. Yes. And yours? So, on the Plague Caster, five up Disgusting. Oh, he's saved. On the Plague Marine squad, they've took a guy's dead. On the Plague Marine squad down here, 
There's a guy dead. And on that Plague Marine, I think he was just in as well, wasn't he, yeah, my yeah. guy? Or was he just so out? Here, yeah. yeah, just in. Oh, he survived, which is good because he's got a tax to be doing. So we've removed those models, Dave isn't consolidating with the Terminator unit. He's going to stick there. Doesn't fancy taking, bringing this guy in and taking some um, force staff hits to the face anyway. So this guy's going to put his attacks into the Terminator squad. Hits on threes normally, fours because he's wielding a power fist. Two hits. he would be wounding on twos. He's got two wounds. Dave's got a thunder hammer and storm shield. Oh, he's double that? field with it. Well, he's dead anyway. He's just failed two, and it's D three damage. That's so the unit gone, so I can't bring him back. Yeah, and I'm gonna come. I'm gonna pay in because the librarian's already attacked. And I'm gonna be on the librarian. So morale tests. This squad lost three guys. So they're good. Seven leadership, eight with a guy left alive. They lost one. They're okay. He lost four because they were a smaller squad. So he's okay. Um, Dave's Terminator has lost two here, so they can't fail. One there, I think, or two. So yeah. They can't fail. Basically, no morale text here for the Marines. Bloody hell, that was brutal. Your turn. So come back with Death Guard. Is it turn three? Yes. Sure. So with a load of contagion, before we start my move at the start of my turn, any Death Guard units that are within one inch of an enemy unit and within seven of a load of contagion can cause some mortal wounds. So basically, there's a potential of a mortal wound here, a mortal wound here, and a mortal wound here. So we'll start with the captain, because he's close to Typhus himself on a four up. No, the Terminator squad here, they have taken a mortal wound, so they've got an iron hand save. No. Oh, that gets rid of the wounded Terminator, that could help. And the other squad, which, sorry, which was the librarian, is safe. He doesn't take a mortal wound. So we'll come back after the Death Guard have moved. So a Death Guard movement review. Poxy walkers have stayed still. As has this guy. Because this guy has to die. <laughs> Thought long and hard about these Plague Marines and they've vent they have fallen out of combat with these Terminators. The little crawl has moved up just over an inch away. Which I probably should be a little bit further back by the looks of it here. Just over an inch away from the captain. Typhus is still in combat with him. Um, this guy's obviously stayed where he is. These guys haven't moved up yet, neither has the plague caster. These have just done what they've done all game, they've sat still. I've just seen them. <laughs> they say, like, oh, there's zombies from there. I was hoping, like I said at the start, that that would be the four point objective and you put all your land raiders over here. I've just seen them. It becomes a long march. Down here, the plague drones drop down from here and the Lord of Contagion sitting in the middle of pretty much everything because I need to see what happens in this Options. phase I think yeah and see because so, obviously there's a two point here a four point here or you know you might be needed to go and hit a tank to stop it shooting next turn because so I don't silence your land raiders it could be a pretty pretty brutal next turn so we'll go into the psychic phase right we're going to start then so we're going to miasma of pestilence on typhus himself Goes off on a seven. Dave's still got a Sega left if he wants to try and deny that. So Typhus will be minus one to hit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so he's looking for an eight here. Six now, so it doesn't deny. Um, I'm going to leave his Sega power for now and jump round to this side and we're going to do a smite. Oh, it doesn't go off and there's no command points. Um, what we're going to do then, we'll do a putrescent vitality, which is that guy's other power. In Miasma Pestilence, we'll give it to Typhus. So we're going to boost Typhus's toughness. So that does go off on a 7. That range, is it? Yeah, 18 inches. So he's got good enough range on there. Typhus. He's got a plague weapon angle. Blades of Putrefication, which will knock the wound roll needed down to by 1. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to smite you. Thinking about it, you need to just try and strip wounds, you've got a four up in one. Nah, it doesn't go off anyway, neither one would. But Typhus is going to have a better toughness this turn and into next turn. And knowing that he's the warlord, I think Dave's going to make him target number one anyway. So mm -hmm. straight straight into the shooting phase. Shooty, shooty. And we're going to start with Typhus because he's got a pistol. He's got 2d6, seven. These are all going at the captain. Get some dice ready. So he's hit on fives and sixes. And that's three wounds. 
And these are at minus, well, he's cataphract the armor. So he's dropped one, so he's took. I don't want your dots, you know. Uh, it's minus three on the gun itself. So it's cataphracties. This model's a three up invulnerable save for cataphracty armor. Oh, because he's a captain. Yeah. yeah, it adds plus one, doesn't it? Sorry. So yeah, it does. So he saved all the money's end one saves anyway. So we're going to go with this guy who's going to put his 12 inch flamer into this Terminator squad. And then he's going to put his multi melter into the land radar. Is one of Oh, it's no to? good. I, I'm going to actually, you know what? I'm going to leave him for now. All right. I'm going to go with this guy first. So this guy's going to put his flame as he has moved this turn. So he'd be at minus one to hit, but the flame has an auto hit and they're just in range of the Terminators. I'm going to shoot the heavy stubber butt gun at them as well. Mm -hmm. And the mortar tank's going to go way over the top. And there's a land radar down there that I cannot see, but it's going to try and... Actually, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to go against that land radar. Because that one is in cover and yeah. would be obscured. So I'm going to go against that land radar mm -hmm. with the mortar. 2d6 auto hits with the flamers. Nine. Yeah. So they've auto hit. These are strength user, which is seven on its full profile. So these are threes to wound. It's also a plague weapon, so it can reroll ones. That doesn't matter. So there's three misses in there. I've rolled way too many dice, have I? Did, <laughs> I, get, did I get seven? It's two misses. Yeah, so he's got seven saves of minus one. Now, they're just out of the cover because, like we said, the cover has the sort of line of this T-shape mm -hmm. from the start. Not all that. But they're on that in runs of threes because it's minus one. The wounded guys are Thunderhammer, Storm Shield. Anyway, they're all Thunderhammer, Storm Shield, so you might as well roll a lot together. One dead, two. Well, they're three. only one damage. So there's two fails, but you've got your iron hands. One so, gone. yeah, so one is gone oh, and one's on a wound. Yeah, so just take one off. So then we're doing the Plague Burst, oh sorry, the Rot Gun, not the Rot Gun, the Heavy Stubber. He's got one hit, because he moved and it's heavy. It's another wound at minus one, so there's another three oh, up. Then. Yeah, same score. Oh, cover now though. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's it will give him the benefit of being in, so it's a two up. Yeah. And then D6 shots with the mortar, three. This is at the Land Raider. The Land Raider hitting on fives, oh, two hits, wound on fours, please. One wound, one minus two. So it's True. going in, it's D3 for three. Ooh, knocked it down to five wounds. They did all right this turn, well done. Next we'll move into Plague Marine Squad. So we've got, plasma. I've got two plasma guns, which I'm not gonna overcharge because there's no point for the damage I think that can come through. Shooting at the Thunderhammer Storm Shield guys. Yeah, got one hit. Yeah. Got a wound. So he'll be on a so he's failed. Yeah. He's got his iron hands. Gone. If he's failed, so let's kill the other one. And we've got the bolt of shots left. It's two guys. We've got two more hits. Looking for fours. No wounds. So that's that's good done. We're gonna throw a crack grenade with a play caster. Oh what you know, he's missed. So coming down this way, these guys fell out of combat so they can't shoot. This guy's going to shoot his pistol in combat against the Librarian. Missed. He's missed an all. Um, we've done Typhus. Yeah. This guy is going to shoot his Entropy Cannons. I'm tempted to go for the, No, we'll go uh, here. We're yeah. Entropy Cannons here. So no cover. I'm going to do the Mortar against the Laz Cannon Tank now. Okay. And I'm going to do the Heavy Stubber Gun. It's actually going to come this way. Yeah. And see if I can rinse because there's no wounds done on anybody else really, so I may as well try and strip the wound off a Thunderhammer Terminator if I can. So he hasn't moved, hits on fours, doesn't wound, so there you mm -hmm. go. So we'll go the mortars at the back tank, looking for fours, looking for fours again. Oh, two at minus two, so two four ups of the land radar. Do I get to cover? No, because it's from this guy oh you know what yeah, yeah you do so you're on threes yeah yep saved we're saved anyway yeah, yeah. and then the entropy cannons i need these to hit i need it to wound oh it doesn't wound so this land radar is untouched which brings me <coughs> to your boys at the back yeah well i've still got this little crawl i'm a taller <laughs> tell you what he's gonna do he's gonna put his flamers into these guys that's right deep He's going to put his 
Multi-metal and missile launcher into that. This boy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, flamers, three hits. It's three wounds against three the Catafacti. Wounds. So we'll be on a three up, or well, two have failed. Two or three. Two. So, so one's one dead. Yeah, that's all right. That's better than expected. So leave the chain fist. Is the chain fist the, the sergeant or not? Yeah. yeah. So the sergeant is left alive. So we've got the multi melter hitting on a four. Yes. Wounding on a four. Please. No. Missile launcher. Missed. So it's other guns have missed the land raider. Uh, the plague drone down here is going to put both its spitters into the land raider behind on three wounds because there's a chance. There's just a chance I can damage it. So 2d6. Any good here? There's no chance. <laughs> so I'm looking for fives. Oh, blimmin' heck, that's pretty good. Three at minus one. He's not obscured or in any sort of cover there from the spell, so you've got three three ups. Three three ups. A couple of more hits there would have been beautiful. Be good. And he's all good anyway, so I'm gonna have to have a good think now about the charge phase. Let's see what we do. Down here the drone is gonna go into the land raider, followed by the Lord of Contagion. Against the Crusader. Against the Crusader. All right. Down here this guy is gonna go against the Laz Cannon Land Raider. You try and heart. silence that. I really don't know what to do down here. Because I want to attack him first. You can't overwatch him. He's got no overwatch, but the thing is, I don't think I'll kill him. But if he comes wheeling in, he's going to attack me first. You know what? The Plague Marine squad are going to charge him. You go for him? I'm going to go for him. Let's okay. just go for it. I'm tempted not to with the Psyker tactically, because I can get the Plague Marine to wrap around him so he mm -hmm. can't get out with the Psyker. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Because I don't think he can kill his way through all the Plague Marines because right. he should miss badly on some attacks. So, yeah, we'll watch. So we'll roll up some distances. So we'll start with... Start with our Plague Marine squad because there's no overwatch. <laughs> and they failed. Yeah. So they're not in. So that... that, that I wasn't sure about doing it anyway. That's <laughs> the end of that. The little crawler. Oh, I was going to say, is this going to be one of these phases? So he's... He's definitely in, but obviously Dave's got last cannons. I could say something about that. The drone, ooh, that's big. So I'm going to jump over that side next to the objective yeah. if I can. And the Lord of Contagion, yep, yeah, he's in as well. So we'll let Dave do some more watch. So um, no damage taken to Overwatch this time. So we've got Lucky. So again, Typhus is Warlord trait. Any models within three inches of him so can take a mortal wound. So the Land Raider, nope. nope. And the Captain, nope. nope. So no effect this turn. So starting with the charging units. I need fours to hit. Oh, got them all. Looking for fives. What? I do get a wound. I think it's minus. Oh, so. Well, he's failed. And it's D3 damage. So right. it's just one damage. Sorry, it's Nash and more. It's minus two save, but one damage. It's a plague weapon as well for reroll on the ones, but... Yeah, it's his lowest bracket now. Yeah, Dave's only took a wound. So he's got two land raiders in critical condition. Yeah. Um, next, we'll move on to the charging units. We'll go on to... We'll go on to the Lord of Contagion. Here he is, Lord of Contagion, four attacks, needing twos. Sixes get extra, and he's on strength six. We're looking for fives. Gonna reroll ones, because it's a plague weapon. Ooh, solid, he's got three wounds this time. So minus three and three damage here. So, through. so no, that's a save, a has got a two up armor. So it took three damage though, yeah. which is enough to pop it, so does it blow, don't blow, don't blow. Phew. <sighs> <laughs> So we'll take that off. That paid off because this guy is now sitting pretty on the big pointed objective. Is, yeah. um, I can consolidate three inches towards the closest enemy model, but I'm not going to because there's a little two point objective here. And um, next, we'll go on to. I think that's everybody at charge. Oh, just to point out, Dave done a heroic intervention down here because you don't have to be charged, but it's done at the end of the charge phase. And he was within three inches of that Plague Marine squad, so he wanted to. Carry. So he, <clears throat> yeah, he wants to be able to attack them. Um, so we're going to go with Typhus going against the captain. Mm -hmm. So we're hitting on twos. He always rolls a one Typhus, guaranteed. The two wounds because the protection vitality doesn't boost his strength. He's good. And the captain saved them both. So well, I'll go with the apothecary. Yeah, so There's the apothecary is D3. 
So he's going to be on four attacks. Be hitting on threes. He's out of range of anybody to help him out with any rolls. Three. So he's hit threes. He'll be wounding on fours because I believe the chain sword is on plus one. Yeah. So two wounds. It's minus yeah. minus two save, isn't it? Yeah. So fives. So I've saved one and it's two damage. Yeah. Oh, oh I've made both the disgusting. So it's my turn to nominate mm -hmm. a unit. Maybe. I thought he was going to kill it two yeah. guys there. So I'm going to go with this guy with a power fist against librarian. the librarian. Oh, it? Two hits. Oh, two. You know what it is? I was expecting snake eyes. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's failed them both as well. So it's two D three. You've got your iron hands. <gasps> five. He's got five iron hands. He's got four yeah, wounds left. Do it. Where's Ricky? He would do it. Divin, Divin, Ricky. Oh, he's got him. Okay. Wow, that was massively unexpected. Yeah. Um, he's gonna just pop into mm. a demon prince or something. That guy. I think that was epic roll. So he'll. Pail in that way, I think, to the apothecary as well. Uh, that leaves my captain, that's it, isn't it? Your land raider. Um, so, yeah, you've got, yeah, because that land raider died, yeah, that's right. So, you've got your land raider. You've got nothing else, have you? No, I'm all done, so it doesn't matter which way land you want to go. Land raider has. He's got four wounds. He'll have one attack, I think. D6, is it? I think. Is it? D6 attacks. D6, so it's one more wound would have knocked him right down, wouldn't it? So D6 is attacks, it's strength 8. And now you're going yeah, against... 6 attacks, 3, the crawler. 5, 6. Yeah, he's only going to come up with yeah. a crawler. Hitting on 6s. Hitting on 6. Uh, actually, you can't hit. Why not? Because the crawler's a minus 1 hit in combat. So oh, I charge okay. your land reader, so you can't hit him. You literally right, can't okay. hit him. Because yeah. <laughs> it modifies... So you would have got 3 hits, this is the way you do it. So right. you would have got 3 hits, then you apply modifiers yeah. and minus 1. So the land reader tanks can't hit the crawlers. Yeah. Okay. Which I've just figured out is actually... Really neat. Yeah, yeah. Interesting to like, know, sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, so just be captain then? It's captain fantastic. Four attacks. Well, luckily I stopped all these buffs this turn, so he should on four be. base, doesn't he? He does, yeah. And then one for two weapons, sitting so, on twos. He was ones for himself. He does. So they all hit. He will be wound typhus on fives, and he can re-roll. There you go. So he's got four. four. He's on minus two. So typhus will be on his... Cataphract the in one or oh, four up terminate either way. Oh, so he's dropped two. These are just single wounds, aren't they? Uh, just normal lightning yeah, clothes and up relics. Yeah, he's dropped two. He's failed. He's discussing the resilience. So he's typhus. He's done three wounds. Four. So end of my turn there. Obviously, these guys staying where they are really. There's the consolidation. Actually, sorry, the plague marines can attack. We haven't done the plague marines attack back, but we'll do that off camera. I don't think we'll kill him. Um, there is a power, f no there's not, there's a plague sword, so we'll do that one off camera. There's no morale checks to take anyway, because everybody's at low enough numbers or dead. Well, I'll just point it out there, he did lose a wound in combat, the apothecary, but obviously at the end of Dave's turn or Dave's movement, he's got the ability to heal himself if he wants to. So with that, we're going to go into Dave's turn four. Yeah. The uh, remaining sergeant with the thunder hammer has decided against tackling these guys. He's come down to help out against the plague marine squad here. This land raid I just backed up a little bit. And the cataphracty terminator has come back this way. Obviously they're going to try and help take out this um, crawler or jump in on typhus if need be. And this guy just wiggled around a little bit as well. So obviously he can't shoot this turn. He's going to try and bring a terminator back on a four. No. Nah. No, so he can't do anything again this turn. He fails, he might meet or attack. All the students, yeah. Yeah, so the apothecary's reading the newspapers. <laughs> he's, uh, he's not sure, doing out this turn. Not come up there, no worries. Right, okay, shooting. Uh, this boy. He's going to storm bolt to them. He's going to. and put everything else on him. Right, so yeah, so one twin assault cannon, do this, two do flame this storm storms. Bolt first. Storm bolt on them. Yeah, yeah did measure 12. Um, you can reroll one now, he's in now, yeah. range of the captain. Yeah, you've got three. And these are threes to wound because Typhus is two no wounds. longer within range of them. So there's two wounds. They've got no save other than that. Disgustance. Oh, I made one, there's one mm. alive. <laughs> right. Two flamestorms then, d6 each. Five hits on the little Five. crawler. Oh, that's a good roll though. Five wounds. It's minus. Is it four wounds? Isn't it? That was a two. Two doesn't wound the crawler. Yeah. Yes, four wounds. Yeah. What was the minus? Oh, on the I thought five wounds. 
Uh, I think minus two. So he'd be on a three up save against this normally. Well, three up armor, I should say. So it's five up with his armor or demon save. So he's failed them all and the two damage a pop. That's right. So he's got six disgustings to make. This guy's fresh as a daisy, or a rotten daisy, I suppose. So he's passed two of them. So he's two. took four wounds. So he's yeah. been halved. Coming in hot with a twin assault cannon, seeing if we can finish this guy off. We roll a one for cannon. Two missed. That's pretty good shooting. Wounding on fives though. Not bad. Four. There's four. enough there to do it. Minus one. Takes his armor save to a four up. Oh, he's past one, so he can't die yet. Mm -hmm. Three disgustings. No, so he is on his last wound now. One. Yeah, I can't be Yeah, watch this get him. So we've got two hits. He's on fives. No. Nothing. No. Nothing. He can't do anything. Uh, the apothecary can't do anything because he failed his heal. So I think that's all your gun. Yes. See so the land raider fell back the knee yet, so you can't shoot. That's 12 on it, so yeah, I'll make so a charge against him with the Land Raider. Whoa, ballsy. So the Land Raider's come down here, well I can't overwatch with a zombie. Yeah. And he failed. And he will charge him. Well he's in, so I'll do some overwatch off camera. And so Dave's just pointing out the Terminator's charging them. He's already, he didn't get very high, he got a 4, but obviously it's more than enough to pass. Um, so we'll do the overwatch off camera on the Terminator that's just charged the Blight Doodle. Helpful. Right, no, I wasn't expecting that on Overwatch, but basically the multi melter hit, wounded, failed, he saved, and he melted him. And then I got some additional hits on the flamer as well for just redundancy. Yep. So I wasn't expecting that, but it's an added bonus. So Dave can start now. I'll pile him in. Yeah, because he charged, he's going to start with a Thunderhammer Terminator guy, then we're going to take turns to alternate. So he's going to hit on fours. We roll one for the captain. Just one. It's a wound. I'm looking at a save of a six. Oh no, so three. it's three damage. Should be a dead plague marine. It is a dead plague marine. We'll take one off from you. So yeah, Dave's gonna go with the captain again. Four attacks and one for two oh. weapons. Who goes as one? All so hit. All hit. He'd be wounding on threes, but he can um, sorry, Shred, on yeah. fives, he re roll the one as well. That one's four, yeah. So you got one wound and typhuses again, four up in one. No, and it's one damage, so five up, yeah, which is no, because I think that dice knocked that one. Yeah. So Typhus is down to two wounds, but what we didn't do at the start of the fight phase, again, yeah. was roll for stuff, so we'll do that. So, the captain, no, and the land raid had moved away anyway, so Typhus is down to two wounds. So we'll come back with the Plague Marines that haven't attacked, obviously Dave's done all his bits and bobs, so this guy's going to go against the Apothecary. So I've missed twice, because he's got a power fist. And we've got the sergeant down there and the normal guy. We'll roll them separately. Oh, he's missed with two. The normal guy has hit. He'll be wounding on a four. He does wound, so Dave's got a two up save to make with his Terminator down here with a Thunder Hammer. Two up. Yeah, so he's done. Um, the crawler wasn't in combat, was it? No. no. Um, so it's Typhus. What ice. Oh, he didn't get a two this turn. But he does get a Death of False Emperor, which is an extra hit. Looking for threes. It is a plague weapon. Ooh, so just two this turn on his Cataphracty. He's failed one, and it's three damage. So he's took one wound, yeah. two wounds. No, 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 that was uh, just one or two, isn't it? Three up for me. It's minus three for the it's Plague the Reaper. Overlapping Cataphracty. Ah, but you failed one, didn't you? Yeah. So it's three damage, though, off the one hit. So you've done. Oh, it's when you roll that again. So you've took two wounds as he has the iron hands. And then his warlord trait. Yeah, well. so do another yeah. one. And then again, so again. you failed the three iron hands, but then you've got your three warlords. Right, okay, I'm with you now, yeah. yeah. So I'll just do them like that then. Yeah. So he has took three. Yeah, because he failed one arm, I save it's three damage. Failed his three iron hands, failed his three warlords. So that's decent. He's halved him down. And again, mm -hmm. at the start of my turn, there's a chance of causing some mortal wounds. Yeah. Um, I think that's everybody attacked who can attack. So we'll go into Death Guard. I'm um, sorry, do I owe you any morale checks? I think they lost two, so they can't fail. Yeah, I think that's it. So we'll go into Death Guard, turn four. So we'll cover the Death Guard movement phase. This tank stayed still. 
his pucks woke up, <laughs> stayed still. <laughs> These guys are having a party or something over here, they haven't moved all game, they're staying still. This guy, I've decided to stay still. Um, he fell back first to sit on that objective and the plague caster moved around a little bit. These marines pushed up to block off the route a little bit, um, as much as they can anyway. These guys fell back forwards towards the objective. Typhus has stayed still. This plague crawler is within three, can't say for the land raider, but they're both within three contesting that objective underneath there. So I've got a decision as to whether I just sit there or try and charge him. Oof. I don't know, I might even charge into the captain just to keep a... Shoot something and charge a captain. The drone there is within its flamer range of this guy. And the Lord of Contagion. He knows what he's doing. He's a veteran of the long war, that guy. He's moved around to secure that objective round there. So we'll go straight into the psychic phase. So we'll just point out the bits there that we forgot to mention the, the Lord of Contagion special rule. We've rolled for it. The captain didn't take a mortal wound. Um, but these plague marines were within seven of inches of typhus at the start of the turn, so the this guy did take a mortal wound, but passed his iron hands, and this guy did take a mortal wound, failed his iron hands. So there's a wound dished out on an apothecary there. So we'll go into the psychic phase. And we're gonna attempt. Typhus is gonna try a smite to get rid of this captain. Mm -hmm. Yep. It goes off, there's no psychic to deny anymore. So there's two mortal wounds. And he's got his two captain and two warlords. Yep. So he's down to one wound, I think. I'm also going to cast Miasma of Pestilence on myself to make a minus one hit, which goes off. Mm -hmm. So we'll get rid of this six, but we'll turn it to a one just so we know that the captain's obviously going to... It's not going to make much difference to a captain, but every little helps. Down here, we're going to attempt... Ooh. See, what I'm really hoping for is to get a plus, a seven plus. So I'm going to attempt Putrescent Vitality. And get them all. And if I get more than seven, I'll kill the Saga, then my Smite would have target the... This is a like best case scenario. Yeah, then yeah. the Smite will get the Terminator. So we'll go Chess and Vitality on the Marine Squad, which does go off on more than a seven, which yeah. is a nine. It'll be on the Apothecary, won't it? Yeah, so there's a yeah. mortal wound, will hit the Apothecary. Yeah, dead. So he's dead. And then we'll mm. Smite, which does go off on a nine, for just one mortal wound on this guy. Can he tank two mortal wounds in a turn? No. So so he's got one. one left, but he did save one before. So that's the end of the psychic phase. We're going to go straight into the shooting phase. Um, this guy is going to do his 12 inch mortar shot at this tank. His volley gun, or his heavy stub, sorry, it's called at it, this guy, and the flamers are out of range. So we'll start with the volley, the, keep calling it the volley gun, the heavy stub has got one hit, no wounds. Um, we've got the mortar, has got D6 shots, three. Got two hits, four's to wound, one wound, so you're at minus two on the land radar. So he's passed. Yeah. Um, this guy, rinse repeat, will go the tiddly deadly guns and the other yeah. guns at him. So the two entropy cannons, one hit, one wound, it's minus four, so it's a six up. Strong shield. It's... Oh, that's sorry. Oh, this, so it, it was a six up because it's minus four on the gun anyway. So it's d six damage. Oh, that was going. So he's down to fourteen. And mm -hmm. um, he caught. Sorry, he couldn't shoot the mortar at him, could he? Because too close. Yeah. Too close. So the mortar was going to the other one. Back one, yeah. So d six mortar shots. It's four. Hitting on fours. Wounding on fours. So one wound against the back land radar, which is going on a four up. So he's saved. I don't think I've done the little guns yet, have I? Missed anyway. That's the, uh, the Terminator, yeah. Okay. So he's all out of gun. Yeah. Uh, you've got your boy. This he, guy. Did he degrade? Um, no, because he's like yeah. a dreadnought. He doesn't okay. have like 10 wounds. So we'll go far end. Some plague spitters against this first. 2d6. Six. six hits. Looking for fives. Oh, he's got three. Three. And it's minus one. So can you no get three, up. three ups? Nope. So he's dropped the wound, so he's down to two wounds on that land radar. Oh, so tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flame him. Flame him, orbit. And I'm gonna multi-melt that and missile launch at this one. Okay, 
You're doing first. So I'm going to go... Actually, no, the frames are D3, aren't they? Yeah, we'll just do it that way. We'll do it yeah. that way. So we've got two hits with the flamers. Got one wound. Um, I'll have to check. <laughs> yeah, so he saved. So we're going to go multi-melter. Missed. Missile launcher. Hits. Wound. So minus two on the land raider for four up. Okay. He's saved. He's land raiders. Hanging on. <laughs> Hanging on. Like I said, the Laz cannons having the strength. Eight. Good. Nine just is making mm. a massive difference, isn't it? I'm just some turns I'm not hitting them at all. Um, which leaves sort of these guys around here. Typhus can do his pistol, so we'll go two d six. Six. Handy. Fives and sixes. Got two hits. Um one wound on the captain on his in run. He's passed. Okay. Yeah. Is that it? No, because we've got the Plague Marine squad here and the the psyker, so the psyker's gonna try a pistol shot at this guy. Missed. <laughs> I don't think he's hit anything with his gun all game. And then we'll shoot the Terminator as the sorry. We'll shoot Terminator. the plague guys into the Terminator. Yeah. We're not gonna overcharge. Rapid fire will show, So yeah. rapid fire the two plasma guns that are left. Three hits. Three wounds, so he'll be on three in one saves. He's good. He's good. Made a lot of saves this turn. He has done. And we've got two bolter shots. Oh, this will be what gets him. Two wounds of the ball. Two. No, we saved them. Oh, two yeah, up, yeah, two yeah. up, all my. Whew. I think that's it. That's all my gun. Yeah. Everything shot, hasn't it? Combatiness. Oh, scary phase now. Combat phase. Do I want to charge? Do I want to charge? Hmm, let's have a think. Thought long and hard about this. Cap my pants a fair few times. This guy's going to just charge the captain. These oh, plague gosh. marines. <sighs> are gonna sell themselves to slow Dave's Terminator down. Okay. So he kinda get the I know I'm troops and stuff like that, but I've also got a troop guy behind them. I don't want to give Dave the opportunity to sneak through there mm -hmm. and get it. So no watch. So this, is the, this is the Marines. So the Marines are definitely in. Yeah. Um this mm -hmm. guy cannot really fail. So he's in as well. So start of the fight phase, models within three inches of typhus can take a mortal wound on a four up. So we're gonna roll for Captain. He's got two lots of six ups to save it. He's gone. Oh, he's gone, he's got him with a thingy. Right. Um, what we did as well, obviously this guy charged in when he started the combat phase, he's tagged this one. So this la this one's out of three, but that land raider is also within three, so on a four up. Yep, that land raider's took ammo to wounds, he's down to one. It's smoking. Um, obviously, Typhus can't go anywhere because it has to do it at the start of the fight phase, so he's sort of now he's locked in the open. But this guy's tagged against this land raider to stop him. Well, I can't stop him moving over here, but I can stop him shooting that guy off the objective. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll come straight down, I think, into this fight down here. So down here has two colour dice, which is for the Sarge, because he can reroll all field wounds with the Plague Sword. So he's hit on threes. And he's wound on fours, and I can reroll ones. These can reroll all of them, because it's a Plague Sword, not a Plague Knife. Wow, three wounds. Three wounds. Three three ups. He's good. Oh, he's good. So it's his attacks back. Uh, I'll go with this thing. You can go with either, because yeah, it doesn't matter. Three, I can't really do any attacks on any of them now. Five, six. Six attacks with the land raider, can't oh. hit it though. Oh, you can't hit it? Minus one oh, to hit it in yeah. combat, yeah. That's why I wanted to pile into you again, because what we'll point out with Dave here is, this guy's still so tough on his move, you could literally move around here and sit on that, and if it goes on to another turn, they're dead. But what I need to do is stop him shooting, because if he even sneezes in this guy's direction, mm -hmm. he's dead. Mm -hmm. Then it'll score Dave two points here. So by Which doing that, I managed to negate his... Attacks, three, yeah. three attacks against the Plague Marines, yeah. Squad, isn't it? yeah. So he'll be hitting on fours. Oh no, two hits, wound on threes, two wounds. Two wounds, got two six ups. The plan is to surround him. Oh, one's gone through. Oh, nearly. Oh, so got our Plague Marine dead. That'll give us an exit route, wouldn't it? What I'm going to do though for the. Oh yeah, I don't want to lose the plasma gun. I'm going to take this guy off. So that's the end of the Death Guard turn four. No morale checks or anything needed. 
Obviously in a pretty strong position now. Yeah, you've got it. But we'll go into Dave's turn five with his crippled land raiders. <laughs> and his heroic terminator right in the middle of the fight there. And we'll see what he can pull out the bag. So Dave's movement phase, basically this guy's, he hasn't really moved. He's just sort of pivoted for a visual effect. Um, this guy's staying locked in combat because even if he falls back, he can't reach any objectives to contest them. And obviously there's a lot of this a troop unit here, a troop unit here, the remnants of a troop unit here. So he can't score them from the guys. He's better off just trying to swing his hammer and cause some damage. This land raider has absolutely bolted through here. Um, can't shoot this turn because it was in combat, but it's putting itself some distance from him. And basically Dave's playing, if this goes on the next turn, he's as good as dead. And he can maybe put some guns into these or look backwards. And you know there's a lot of units now on mm. low wounds so he can clear these guys out. So we'll go straight into Dave's shooting phase. So you've got yeah. basically a full land radar, but it's massively crippled. Yeah, it's going to double last him Yeah, and the little guns at Typhus. Right, yeah, it's Typhus is the closest model now. I think he's hitting on sixes now. It's It'll be fives, fives, threes, fours and fives, definitely. Okay, five up, last cannons. So the last cannons... Is minus one hit him for five up? Nope. No. I think... So they've all missed. Obviously the captain's dead for the rerolls. No. no, then, Craigie, the ones are coming out now. And the heavy ball, this is still good enough to... Well, Typhus is minus one hit as well with Miasma, which he got cast, so you've only got one hit. <laughs> it's all you need. That is a wound. Wink, I? So Typhus gets a save on a three up, which he saved. So, <laughs> that's the end of the shooting phase. Nice, yes, I'll charge him. He's going to charge Typhus as well, yeah? He's going to knock him over. Are you multi-charging both you units to tie up the troops? Uh, there is a two well, plasma well, guns in that squad. Uh, no, no, because you, you can't get past them to get to the thing anyway. Yeah, it depends. You could spin them yeah. round. Yeah, that's what I mean. If you did charge them, you could I literally mean, block all this. But they are true. Well, I might. No, no. Yeah, yeah. I will actually, because yeah, you might blow. I'm them not up. beating you because there's two plasma you guns. Up, you might blow them up and kill everyone. Okay, so you are oh, really no, charging. No, I'm not. No, no. <laughs> yes, no. Yes, no. No, no. no, no, no yes, yes. I'm not. Right. Just type. He's got. Just he's got a pistol. He's got his pistol guns. Yeah. Um, so that's it, that's the only charge, isn't it? Yep, so 2d6 of the pistols is 4. You kind of feel your charge distance. I've got no wounds because I'm short strength 4. No wounds. Okay. Boom. Boom. So he's in against Typhus with an uh, attack. Is it one attack, is it? Yeah, you're on the last wound, so I think you go down. It starts with 6 and it's d6 yeah, one and attack. 1. On a six. And he can't hit. Because no. Typhus is my asthma. Another one as well. Minus Chris. one. <laughs> right. So, but, uh, but I'm surprised you wouldn't do that because you've left a little nice alleyway to get past. But um, well, I'm hoping you blow him up. I'm going to just run away from him. I'm going to count. Know, I'm gonna... In your, in this. Oh, right, when I attack him. Aye. Yeah, that could get us. Terminator. Oh, Christ. So he's hit once. That's one. Just one? Yeah. And a six up. No. What we'll do as well at the start of the fight phase, because it's any yeah. of Tyson's on a four up, that land raider will pop before it attacked yeah. anyway. No. But I still do have to attack it. So we'll do Tyson's attacks now. Oh, he's got the um the extra one. Death to the Fall Center. Dave's really hoping that <laughs> I get it here and it kills everybody, which it definitely can do. It's a plague weapon, so I'm reroll ones, but none. But that is one wound. It blows up. Oh so you got a save, you've yeah. got a chance you can save. No, and it's three damage, so does it blow up? Three times? No, just one save. So it's like three dice over? Well, he can't. No, it's, it's done oh, enough yeah. damage. You just want to see if it goes. Don't no. go. No. Yeah, you've won, mate. So that goes. And then we'll do the Plague Marines attacking back. So this guy with the Plague Sword has got one hit, has got a wound. The other guys miss. So you've basically got a two-up save with your Terminator, followed by a six-up by your hands. Right, so he's good, so the Terminator's held firm there. And we'll go on to Death Guard, turn 5, see if we can mop this up. Right, Death Guard movement, turn 5, and it's all getting tactical. He's staying put, these guys are staying put, Plague Marines are staying in combat. This tank's moved for the first time, it's going to come round, chasing it down the little Malefic Blight Crawler thing, chasing him down, this guy's <laughs> defiant in the face of death. Twice because he's already dead and he's a zombie. Typhus is moved close out of the objective, as has the troop squad, the Plague Marines. This guy's staying put, and so is that guy next to the objective. So we're going to go straight into the psychic phase and we're going to go over there with the Plague Caster 
We're going to attempt to smite, see if we can get rid of this Terminator once and for all. It definitely goes off on a 10, so it'll be D3 mortal wounds plus 1, because it was cast on more than a 7. Right, so he's got four <laughs> iron hand saves to make. Goodbye. When it rains, it pours. Oh, he made two of them. Yeah. But double gun. That's the end of the Terminator, which will free those guys up to shoot in the shooting phase. So we're not going to attempt any other powers because we don't want to blow up. And Typhus is just out of a range of a smite now. So we're opening up so everything that can shoot will shoot into the land radar. <laughs> the only thing left. <laughs> so we'll start the only Iron Hands unit with see if we can clear them out once and for all from this Imperial City. So this guy, D6 mortar shots. Five. Hits on fours because this guy didn't move. Wounds on fours. So you got one at minus two. Ooh, the sun's belting in there. Yeah, he's saved. Um, he's stubber. Oh, he's three hits. He's got no wounds. His flamers are out of range. Go to this guy who's moved. Now he's more I can't shoot because it's too close. So we've got two entropy cannons on fives. Nope, stubber. Got one hit. Does wound, so you've got to save at minus one, so a three up. So he saved, just, that was just off camera there. Um, this guy, everything in, it's a D3 flamers. Wound on a five, plague weapon. No, get rid of those dice. Multi melter, hits, does it wound? It does. It's got a six up save, doesn't go through, so it's 2D6, pick the highest. So four gone off it, so it's down to ten. Missile launcher, horse hit. And wounded. Oh, and it's gone through. Six. Oh, a six. It's down to four. And a four wounds. That's the first time I think he's hitting hurt a land radar <laughs> with his guns. But he's proven tricky that little minus one to hit him. Mm. Oh, saved his life a couple yeah. of times. So these plague greens that were free to open up will shoot in here. Um I'm not gonna overcharge. You know what? It's the last turn, isn't it? Yeah, Let's, yeah. Just, let's just overcharge. I'll measure the range. So we've just measured up, both these plasma guns are in, well, all these guys are in rapid fire. And these plasma guns are in long, long range. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and just nuke it. So these two guys, I'm going to overcharge. First guy is dead. Sergeant has hit it and wounded it. So there's a save of a five up on the land radar. Boom. There's two damage on it then. So just to show, we'll take that guy off there. Who's got a plasma gun? So he's melted himself. And then here we'll go first guy. He's got one hit sergeant. He's dead, but he's also hit it. Got one wound again, so another five up saver, it's gone. Gone. That's the land raider. Does it blow? This is what Dave's been waiting for. Nah. No, it doesn't. So with that. Nothing left. The Death God. Take this cathedral once and for all. Typhus obviously saw something here he wanted to control. That was whew, that was really that was a good game that it was really really tough. Mm -hmm. They as tough as my army is. Three land raiders is yeah, bloody yeah. tough. But I think being able to cap I think once you got to the middle ground being once, able, it, once you were starting to tag them, Once I started to tag, yeah, I think it, it yeah. sort of just flipped it. That one yeah, yeah. turn when you had three combi bolters yeah. or something to shoot massively swung it, I think, for me. Um and you had a couple of turns whiffing really with like terminators in combat, I suppose, mm. but so what Terminators do. If I managed to keep the Land Raiders from getting tagged all the time, would have uh, made a difference for us. It's interesting though, uh, the three different ones, because it was three different problems for me. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like, you're going to sit back and just Laz Cannon, yeah, which would have been crap against the zombies. Time. But a uh, good game. Yeah, good game. The Revenge game. <laughs> <sighs> Death Guard victorious. And the way, obviously the way the game counts up, there's First Blood, Line Breaker, Slay the Warlord. <laughs> <laughs> I think the death got they are sitting on every objective as yeah, well. Yeah. So it's a crushing victory. But that was interesting. That we did of what we do for him, we tell each other which army we're gonna pick, just that people get to see, you know, your list tailoring mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. We'll tell each other what army we're gonna pick, but we don't say what units and stuff like that. And obviously this is a follow-on from the last game and we'd sort of we told each other we probably wouldn't take similar lists. We're gonna yeah. try some different stuff out. Um, so obviously I bought the mortar tanks and stuff like that and obviously Typhus rather than my Demon Prince. And then Dave rocks up old school with his free line raiders, which was <laughs> awesome. You used to run that, didn't you, quite a lot in the formation? Yeah. So in the 7th edition formation there. So yeah, victorious. Um, I expected a lot more of my stuff to die than did. But like I said, that turn of 
negating all the land radars and then from that turn always being able to maybe tag one or two of them was big really really big and i think that saved the day so it's a death guard victory we'll look forward we'll definitely change the scene really out for the next battle but it's funny this game did revolve quite a lot around here and around mm. the little corner of it and the other game was all around the outside just goes to show that you can set it up Whichever, games, yeah. exactly it's a totally different game on exactly the same setup which were quite interesting to try but cool